Now for the Bay Area Channel, 5 o'clock news on this Monday evening, September 14, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. I'm your 5 o'clock news that I'm here. Our top story at 5 o'clock here is... Police in Mississippi say Shannon Lamon, and boy at Delta State University is a person in interest in a shooting of a professor at the school on Monday. The first known fatality of a Northern California wildfire appears to be an elderly disabled woman who was killed just six hours after a blaze broke out at 40 days set on Monday. Russia takes Gamble to Syria, ramping up military involvement. Tony Abbott lost the fight to keep his prime ministership after Malcolm Turnbull toppled him in a vote for the Liberal Party leadership on Monday. Brussels, even as three more countries followed Germany in introducing border checks to control for the migrants, the European Union on Monday failed to agree on a modest plan that would force individual countries to take in a share of some. Several crowd presidential candidate Senator Bernie Sanders in coming to Vermont took looks over the crowd during an speech at Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia. Jeremy Corbyn's election as the Labour Party leader has been hailed by Bernie Sanders, the left wing candidate for the Democratic presidential nomination. Mexico City, eight Mexicans were killed in an apparent mistaken attack by Egyptian security forces that killed 12 people and wounded 10. The sister of Mexican Rekha Haler was among the dead set on Monday, said in a relative of the slain guy. Afghan soldiers stand guard near the body of a Taliban fighter killed after the attack at the Ghazi prison. Beirut, two car bomb blasts killed at least 26 people and wounded a dozen more in the mostly Kurdish controlled eastern Syrian city over the Kaska on Monday, a monitor state media reported. A motorist accused of deliberately and fatally hitting a firefighter with his car told police he was angry with the firefighters collecting money for charity and slowing traffic court record show. More in Kentucky, the country clerk. The county clerk from Kentucky was jailed after refusing to issue a marriage last as a gay couple said Monday and a return to work. She will not block her deputies from issuing them but will not apprise them personally as one. There are three pending lawsuits against Donald Trump for a series of real estate seminars bill as Trump University won suit. New York's Attorney General seeking $40 million restitution. Kentucky State Trooper Joseph Cameron Ponder died after he was shot during a car chase on Sunday as a suspect is in custody today in connection with a deadly shooting of a Kentucky State Police Trooper Sunday night. U.S. stocks closed down on Monday as many investors put off making big bets that have a Federal Reserve policy meeting this weekend of was worded about weak economic data from China. Washington. Starting next year, your check won't be any good as the IRS if you're making a tax payment of $100 million or more. Negotiations between the United Auto Workers Union and the Detroit Automakers intensified Monday as Fiat Chrysler Automobiles chief headed the Detroit and Ford Motor Company. Miller crews announced Monday they will close a long-time facility in Eden, North Carolina, the first approved Miller generator drop because of prolonged sales decline in the plant related to approximately the number of Miller crews for its location in Virginia. NBC has named Arnold Schwarzenegger the new host of Celebrity Apprentice as the former California governor will take over the boardroom duties from Donald Trump who left the show when he started his run for president. Researchers knew California's threat was already a record breaker when they set out to find that exact place in history but they were surprised by what they discovered has been 500 years since what is now the Golden State has been this dry. A strong El Nino is going to contribute to rise in global temperature and major weather ships over the next year says Britain's meteorological office. Humans are constantly trying to find out what is love is all about, and not just for our own emotional well-being, as the question of why monogamy exists is ongoing. As a celebrated North American monarch butterfly begins to destroy the migration south to Mexico, conservationists are calling their attention to serious population decline. A new study suggests there may be a way for women to dramatically reduce the risk of breast cancer without cutting calories doing additional exercise and taking medication. Black children with acute empathetic Clearly painful emergency are less likely than white children to get pain cures in emergency room, researchers reported Monday. After a heart attack, black patients typically don't live as long as whites of racial difference that is struggled among the affluent, according to New U.S. Since 2010, poison control call center hotlines across the United States have seen a nearly 400% increase in calls related to children younger than 12 in just in hand sanitizer. Peter John News on 504, take a look at a stock bar report here to now. Finish the day. Down 62 to port 13 points to finish at 1670 port 96. SB Farmer down 8 to finish at 1953 port 03. And NASDAQ 4905 port 76 down 16 58. European markets here. DAX 10 131 port 74 up 8 port 18. FTSE 60 84 port 59 down 33 port 17. CAC 40 45 18 port 15 down 3 port 57. Asian markets. Nikkei 17965 port 70 down 298 port 32. 
Shanghai, 3140 for 87, down 85 for 37. HSI, 21,561 for 90, up 37.33. Four markets, 44.16, down 47 cents. Brent, 46.33, down $1.61 cents. And natural gas, 2.762, up 69, down on points. Gold markets, 1107.90, up 4.60. Silver, 14.395, down 11 cents. And copper, 2.4105, down 43,000 points. Bonds, US 10 units, 2.1831%, unchanged. Germany, 10 units, 0.658%, unchanged. And Japanese 10 euro 0.351%, down 12,000 points. European US dollar 1.1323, up 5,000 points. US dollar Japanese yen 124.19, down 3 cents. And Great Britain pound US dollar 1.5424, unchanged. Look at that commodities there. Wheat, bubble 1, up 16. Soybean, 83, up 8 and 3 quarters. Corn, 393, up 6. Sugar, 11.48, down 18 cents. Coffee 190.70 up $3.15. Cotton 62.33 down 40 cents. Rough rice 95 up 12 cents. And cocoa 3,284 up 30. Black cattle 140.90 up 30 cents. Clean out 6.95 down 0.375. And FD cattle 194.025 down 1.075. Peter Channel News on 506, 10 and a half for spot support here. The Boston Red Sox will square up against the Baltimore Orioles tonight at 7.05 p.m. down in Baltimore as Edward Martin Weaver is the man for the Red Sox. Buffalo Bills head coach Rex Ryan complimented New England Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski in a news conference on Tuesday ahead of the week two matchup between the Pats and the Bills and Orchard Park. Rashad Jennings was twice at a goal line in the final minutes at a chance disastrous 27 26 loss. To the Cowboys in Dallas. Denver Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning talks with head coach Gary Kubiak during the second half against the Baltimore Ravens at Sports of Warriors Field of My High as Peyton gets pretty salty responding to questions about performance. And Marcus Briard of the San Domingo could not stop the unbashed announcement of his arrival over the NFL scene in the first ever day match of rookie quarterback sticking one and two in the draft it was a lower pick who stood tall as the Titans thrashed the Buckners last night 42 to 14 down in Tampa. Here, John Newsom, Pablo Savonier on this. Monday evening here, time after Trevor Report here. And let's take a look at Rhode Island here, where Route 4 on the southbound side is a little slow around the North Kingston stretch. 4-3, we had an accident on the 4-3 westbound before Route 4. 146 on the southbound side of so Salt from Route 15 down to 95 in the downtown Providence area. 95 on the southbound side of so Salt protected all the way up to downtown Providence area. 95 northbound so from 195 to the 610 connector here. That's because we got an accident on Putnam Park around Route 295 here. And out in the Cape, 25 on the eastbound side of Los around Buzzards Bay. Two. Borden Watery a little slow, but otherwise. Twain's looking good from Borden and Falmouth. Route 6 is looking good from Sandwich to East Dam. And we got on Route 6 and the East Pants, I got an accident in East Dam. So expect a few delays around the area of Route 6 near McCoy Road. 95 on the southbound side, it is stop and go around Route 1 to exit 8 in Sharon. Then hit breaks again for 1 point in Fox Square, all the way up to 295 in Annabelle here. 24 on the southbound side, so before Route 27 in Brockton, and then hit breaks again from after 106 in West Bridgewater, too, before Route 44 in Random Air. 290 on the westbound side, again, an accident around Route 190, so expect Malaysia. 290 is backed up from 190 all the way up to Route 9 here. In Metro Boston here, 120 on the southbound side, it is slow from Great Plain Avenue, need them all the way out to the Braintree Split. 120 in the northbound side, so we're going to split all the way up to Route 24 in Randolph here. Southface Expressway, stop and go from the pack all the way up to the Brain Tree split to the end. Accident in the Southface Expressway, parole for the Brain Tree split. Route 3 in the southbound side, so from the Brain Tree split all the way out to Union Street here. Southface Expressway, southbound side, slow to an accident in Mass Ave. Two middle tunnel, it's slow on both ends in downtown Boston here. Mass Park in the eastbound side, is slow from the Southeast Expressway, all we have to Logan Airport here. Mass Park on the westbound side, it is slow from Brighton and Newton and hit breaks again, doing an accident. That's clear, but it's slow, stop and go from Western all the way up to Framingham here. 
One twenty and then an offense side. It is so from twenty Lexington and all the way out to Route Four and Lexington and then hit breaks again. One twenty step on before Route Three and Burlington here. Nine three and an offense side. So from Somerville all the way out to Medford here, and then hit breaks again from Stoneham all the way out to Wilmington in here. One twenty and an offense side. So from Route Three and moving all the way out to Stoneham here. Four nine five and a step on side. So from Route Nine to Route Four nine five of West Burr. Route 1 in the northbound side, so around Route 16 Revere. Route 495 in the southbound side, so around before 290 in Marlborough Air. Route 3 in the northbound side, it is slow from 62 in Brentford, all the way up in the Billwick, and hit bricks again from 495, all the way up to Route 40 in the Little Chumpsford area. 93 in the northbound side, it is slow from Belleville, all the way up to Route 110 in Lawrence here. 495 on the northbound side, it is slow from Lawrence to 213 in Haverhill Air. 495 on the southbound side, it is around Route 97 in Haverhill Air. And then up in New Hampshire Air, it is spawned and turned back on the northbound side, so from Newton Route 4 in Durham. But otherwise, you're looking good in the Grand Estate, but we got an accident on the Denton Webster Highway on Route 3. Before the airport, after the airport roadway, so expect a few delays here. And up in Maine here, the main turnpike here is looking good from York to Augusta via Potton here. And a few slow spots in 295 and on the westbound side of, from Route 25 to Four River Bridge here. And the Palmer Spur, a little slow due to some road work between the main turnpike and 295. Alright, look at that MBTA alerts here. Subway system, it's looking good. Commuter rail, it's looking good, and on the ferries, all human and hull ferry trips will be rerouted for about 14 days due to a schedule long island bridge construction and three to eight minutes of travel. Perry Tell News on 512. Time out for a word reporter. Current conditions here in North Massachusetts at 512. 69 degrees of touch overcast skies. Gravity 59%. Wind speed west by 15 gusts and 23 miles an hour. Around 20 by 96 inches, to about 54 degrees. Feels like 10 miles in the middle. It is a overcast, cool, fall like day today here. Take a look at our current conditions around the region here. It is 71 degrees out in Boston, 69 in Bedford, 70 in Beverly, 68 in Gloucester, 70 in Lawrence, 68 in Fitchburg, 63 in Worcester, 64 in Sturbridge, 67 in Milford, 68 in Norwich, 70 in Taunton, 69 in Bedford, 72 in Plymouth, 70 in Providence, and Falmouth, and Chatham, 69 in Morphins, 67 in Nantucket, 66 in Smithfield, Providence. It's 73 in Wesley, 72 in Bulk Island here, 73 in Montauk, 72 in Inslip, 77 in New York. It's 74 in Bridgeport, 71 in New Haven. It's 71 in Denbury, 68 in Waterbury, 73 in Meriden, and 71 in Northford, 69 in Winslow, 69 in Springfield, 68 out in Greenfield, 67 in Apple, 62 in North Adam, 16 in Pittsfield, 71 in Albany, 67 in Soto Springs, 64 in Rutland, 63 in, in Bainton, 58 in Brown, Vermont, 67 in Lebanon, New Hampshire, it's 66 in Keener, Hampshire, 63 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 64 in Luck Corner, Hampshire, 66 in Falcon, Hampshire, 68 in Manchester, Hampshire, 69 in Nashville, New Hampshire, 73 in Port New Hampshire and 71 degrees up in Port Maine here. Hey, right, look at that. The search map around the country here. And it shows a stationary front from off California stretching, merging with a stationary front up in the northern Nevada and merging with a cold front from Idaho down in Montana. And stationary around Montana merging with a cold front from southeast Montana down for western South Dakota. And stationary front from South Dakota stretching up the Minnesota and up in the northern Ontario merging with a cold front from northwestern Quebec here. And we got a Cold front from eastern British coming down from southern Alberta up in the northern Saskatchewan and a warm front from the west central portions of Manitoba here and a front line from west central Quebec and down up in the extreme northern New England here and another front line from the eastern tip of Maine stretching off the New England coast and off the Jersey Shore here and a front line from southwestern Nebraska down for western Kansas though coming down for western Texas Manor and eastern New Mexico here and a front line from southeastern California down for the Gulf of California and a low pressure front line off the far covered coast here. And low pressure centers in the northwest of Washington State. A ridge of low pressure in the northeastern California and southwestern Idaho. And low pressure also in east central Montana and south central portions of South Dakota. And up in the north central Ontario and the northwestern portions of Quebec. And up in the northwestern portion of New Brunswick. And we got some high pressure centers in the four quarter region here. And high pressure centers located in central Mexico, way off the Baja, California, and western North Carolina, and in the northwestern portions of Ontario. Here. 76 degrees, that temperature right now in Detroit, 
71 in Pittsburgh, 70 in Washington, D.C., 74 in Atlanta, 90 in Miami, Florida, and in 88 degrees in Dallas, Texas, 8 in Brownsville, Texas, it's 8 in Kansas City, 82 in Omaha, Nebraska, 79 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 79 in Chicago, 66 in Great Plains, Montana, it's 57 in Seattle, 65 in San Francisco, 78 in Los Angeles, 89 in Las Vegas, 94 in Phoenix, 81 in Albuquerque, 88 in Denver, and 77 degrees in Salt Lake City. Here. Alright, let's look at some. Let's look at the radar situation here. And look at that, the radar situation here. We're seeing some spotty rain showers here. Zooming you out. And we're seeing some spotty rain showers around east of South Star, New Hampshire. And some spotty rain showers around Francis Town, east of Bantu, New Hampshire. And South of Deering, New Hampshire. And some spotty rain showers around Ware, New Hampshire here. And spotty rain showers between Marlow Junction and Marlow, New Hampshire here. And... Patchy rain showers north of Wilmington, Vermont, and northeast of Brandon, Vermont, and some spotty rain showers west of Route 7 and East Dalton and Dorset, and some spotty rain showers around the Rutland area, and zooming out to the north, and Atlanta rain showers from Rochester, Vermont, stretching it up to Waitsfield and up to Waterbury, and Montpelier, Vermont, there. And we'll zoom you out, and then show some spotty rain showers west of I 93 and stretch it up to the northeastern Vermont, up at the extreme northwestern portions of New Hampshire, but the extreme northwestern portions of Maine, here. And a lot of rain showers and a thunderstorms here. In extreme down east Maine. From. From east central Maine. Stretching all the way up to the St. Stephen, New Brunswick here. And stretch over New Brunswick here. And seeing some spotty rain showers around the Moosehead Lake region of Maine here. And spotty rain showers in the northwestern portions of New Brunswick here. Alright. Zoom you out. And it shows. A lot of rain showers in the eastern ports of Quebec here. Spotty rain showers in the east central portions of Brunswick, and some spotty rain showers around eastern portions of Prince Edward Island, and some spotty rain showers in the northeastern portions of Ontario here. And zooming out, and we've seen some spotty rain showers around southern and central portions of Florida, and a lot of rain showers and storms off the Bahamas here. And some spotty rain showers and storms off the southeastern Texas Gulf Coast, and stretching them in the northeastern portions of Mexico here. Spotty rain showers in the east central portion of Oakland and the southwestern portions of Missouri here. Patchy rain showers in the northwestern portions of Iowa and the southeastern portions of Minnesota and the northeastern portions of Iowa here. And we're seeing a patchy rain showers around the western portion of the country here. We're seeing some few sleep pelts around Mount Rainier here. And some spotty rain showers in the east central portions of British Columbia and the Alberta and the central Saskatchewan and the southwestern portions of Manitoba here. Hey, right, let's look at that. The satellite loop here, and it shows a lot of clouds from eastern Massachusetts and stretching up to northern New England and up in eastern Quebec and coming to the Metro Canadian Maritimes. A lot of clouds coming to northern Iowa, southwestern and west central portions of Minnesota, and a lot of rain clouds from east central portions of North Dakota air. A lot of clouds coming to much of the Gulf Coast and the Gulf states and stretching in central portions of Florida and around the Bahamas air. And a lot of clouds from New Mexico coming to much of Utah and Wyoming and then up in the Wyoming and Atlanta class from North Central California and Nevada coming to much of the Pacific North and coming to much of Western Canada from British Columbia all the way at the Manitoba air and Western portions of Ontario air. All right, let's take a look at what's going on in the tropics. One, two, three storms here. To serve number one, a low pressure system located several hundred miles west southwest of the Cape Verde Islands has produced a little shower activity today. Due to dry air nearby, however, upper level winds are expected to be conductive for triple cyclone formation, and this system is still expected to become a tropical depression during the next couple of days while it moves chilly northwestward across the central tropical Atlantic here. Formation chance for four hours, high 70%. Formation chance in five days, high 8% here. 
The surface damage to widespread continents and shock training continues over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico associated with an area of surface low pressure. Some slow in development. I this assessment is possible during the next day or two while the moves little. After a couple of days, a slow westward of west northwestward motion toward Mexico is expected during development will become less likely. Formation trends for four hours. Low 20% formation trends for five days. Low 20% and service damage three here. A travel wave about and coming by a broad low pressure system is looking about 500 miles south south piece of the Cape Verde Islands showing signs from activities showing some signs of organization and environmental conditions are expected to be conducted for formation in the troubles direction over the next few days. While the system moves westward at 10 to 15 miles an hour, formation trends for hours. Low 20% formation trends for five days. Medium 50% here. And one of the service needs in the Pacific here. A variety of low pressures located 700 miles south of the southern tip of Baja California Peninsula is producing this one showers and from some sort of development as possible during the next several days as the system moves generally northwestward at 5 to 10 miles an hour here. Formation changes for 4 hours. Low 10% formation changes for 5 days. Low 3%. Hey, right, let's connect the forecast discussion around the region here. High pressure will expand across the eastern seaboard for most of the week and bring in an extended period of dry weather along with warmer temperatures here. I will slide to the east of the Saturday. A weak cold front will approach Saturday night and move front on Sunday. Other than spot of very light shadow sprinkled within the higher terrain in northern Massachusetts, close to the pinwheel and border text max now shifting northeast, the air remains dry. This has only led to a mix in the zoo points down to the low 50s. A good southern point for potential overnight minimums that issue remains clear cloud cover and winds. West northwest winds approach about 20 25 knots. Here, suspect gradual clearing of skies as weak, middle level warm infection and lack of vorticity leads to a dissipation in the current cloud deck part of the evening. However, not a decent press. Rice fall, a couple of lingering into the evening hours, which will likely maintain some of this flow early. Therefore, it's all a matter of timing for decoupling and radiation on cool and looks like the gradient slackens enough under clear skies during the morning hours to support some localized radiation cool and particularly in the normally prone valleys. With two points starting in the low 50s, the aim will be for a few acid upper 40s and low mid 50s away from the coastline for minimums as used at a blend of map meteorological guidance, but tip to a bit of a count for the risk. Here, hey, look at that. Oh, what the nuts here? Low humidity fat, the wheat with above normal temperatures here. September has been a warm month, but average about 72 40 for the Boston area. Water temperature 65 degrees. Expecting tonight's low 50s to near 60, and some suburbs could reach the upper 40s here. And tomorrow's high 79 83 degrees. Alright, 7 day forecast goes like this here. For tonight, we are going to have a beauty. On tap for sleep in the night. Mostly clear sky, low about 53 degrees. The west would about 6 to 11 miles an hour. So leave the doors, leave the windows open to let the air in and give the AC a break. But it's Tuesday, that sky has about 8 degrees. West would about 7 miles an hour. Here. So that patch back after 5 a.m. otherwise clear sky, about 53 degrees of light northwest wind. Wednesday, patch back for 8 a.m. otherwise that sky has about 84 degrees of light available wind. With that, patch back up to 4 a.m. Owas, oh, mostly coast guard about 56 degrees of light southwest wind. Thursday, patch back up for 9 a.m. Owas, oh, sky guard about 84 degrees. There's that, most coast guard about 59 degrees. Friday, patch back up for between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Owas, oh, sky guard about 83 degrees. After that, most coast guard about 59 degrees. For Saturday, sky guard about 79 degrees. Saturday night, park guard about 62 degrees. Sunday, park guard about 77 degrees. Saturday night, park guard about 57 degrees. And for Monday, most of the size guys have about 72 degrees here. Pairs, what a phrase of the day. A pleasant night and having a terrific Tuesday in store and a terrific weekend in store. Pairs, you have a good evening and good positive. See you for an 11 o'clock report. Have a good evening with a good positive.